Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the 550th edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for the last regular Wrestling Mayhem Show of the year. Christmas edition next week. But we're going to talk professional wrestling. We're going to preview WWE's Roadblock, which is coming right here in Pittsburgh, PA, home of Mayhem Studios. And so much more including Kevin Owens making kids cry. Uh, but other, uh, let's introduce some other people that Kevin Owens may have made cry in the recent past. One first from Johnstown, Flood Town, USA. He is Bobby FJ Town. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to say they made the uh, bro- they made the road to WrestleMania a lot easier by putting the roadblock at the beginning of it this, this time. Mm-hmm. And also <laughs> with us, from the other side of the greater Pittsburgh area, he is the Riz. And they, they, they missed the great opportunity to go to make this roadblock the end of the road. And just have, uh, who is it? Was it Bone Thugs and Harmony? Is that the one who did it? Or my, <laughs> yeah, have them do a live performance at, in Pittsburgh. Of end of the road, aren't they for already? That night. Man, I miss my uncle Charles. <laughs> aren't they already? Wait, no. Calling? End of the road was. Uh... Wait, no. That was was that bone? No, bone thugs. Boys the men. Yeah, boys the men. Boys the men. <laughs> How could you confuse boys the men and bone thugs? Well, bone then bone wasn't bone thugs the one who did Crossroads? Yeah, that's yes. probably why. Because I get those two mixed up all Imagine the time. Bring Cody Rhodes back and. <laughs> What is even happening right now? Well, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're going to talk professional wrestling here for the next hour or so on your podcast or video machine. Uh, You can check us out. We're over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to this show and so many others on the iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and the video versions on YouTube and the Facebook. You can also drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0 or that email address. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Or, well, no, that's not the big question. Also, uh, please, uh, you can join us live here at Live.WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Or if you follow us on the Facebook page, Wrestling Mayhem Show, you'll get a notification when we go live, live, live every Tuesday around 10 p.m. Sometimes we'll just talk for a half an hour about indie wrestling that we've attended, writing into guys like Chris Jericho and uh, and how uh, Bobby F. J. Town's latest adventures Finding pop figures may be going, whatever that case may be. But some of that is uh, of some uh, gold content for our Patreon supporters. You can support us at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Like our good friends, longtime supporter, Bo Diggity. Woo! Of course, the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment, Ed Burke, uh, Alex Cars, Bobby F. J. Town, and Who's Christopher that? Bishop. Thank you so much for supporting the show, guys. And like I said, you guys can too at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Uh, so, and also a big shouts to the 405media.com. Thank you so f- much for carrying the show amongst the stuff that is very definitely not pro wrestling content. Yes. Uh, although definitely WWE, well, former WWE me. Hall of Famers. Actually, you know what? That is looking more and more. Hold on. I'm, I'm kind of curious now. Yeah, we, I think... we need to backtrack your sword. We need, we need to backtrack on that one. Okay, backtrack. Small business. What? <laughs> for the Trump administration goes to <laughs> Yeah, the I mean, we, got, we have to call out. This is not on the rundown for tonight, but the, no, the, the 405 media.com, it, it has a lot of political news, right? And and if you look through over the past week, certainly you're seeing a lot of, um, um, you're certainly seeing a lot of uh, former WWE, or actually, no, WWE Hall of Famers. Uh, there's a former WWE CEO that was popping up over there. Uh, mm-hmm. So there you go. More and more. 
It feels like home to gonna, us as things go. We're going to talk about the limo explosion. <laughs> I saw oh, that. No. What was that? The Donald <laughs> Donald Trump called called Vince went, uh, to check on him after the limo explosion. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. I saw that on Facebook. That was definitely not yep. fake news. Um, <laughs> Straight from Triple H's mouth. <laughs> There you go. There you go. All right, let's get into it. Let's talk pro wrestling, of course, here in Pittsburgh. we uh, Many of us will be attending the Roadblock End of the Line pay-per-view because this is the second Roadblock of the year, guys. The other one, not a pay-per-view, uh, uh, I guess traditionally, uh, but was a special event in Canada uh, before WrestleMania, on the road to WrestleMania. Next is going to be called Death Race. Death race. That would be great, too. Uh, but we got or, or wacky races. But we're lining up for it. And I feel so bad because, I, I, guys, I was dozing off during the... That's why there was no wrap-up last night. I was, I was dozing off during the go-home <laughs> show for Raw uh, to this pay-per-view. And it, it's, it had nothing to do with... Like, from what I saw, it looked like a fantastic Raw last night. Uh, it was good, yeah. It, was, it looked like it was real... Every, like, every time I woke up, I was excited. Then I fell asleep again because I was really <laughs> freaking tired. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. <laughs> 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 oh, this is some good stuff. <laughs> I mean, well, you hit a commercial break, and I'm not used to that. Uh, but we got uh, even, even, even though you we're supposedly maybe headlined by uh, uh, Kevin Owens and uh, Roman Reigns. Commentary. Uh, no, it's involving Owens, so I'm sure everything will be fine, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hope so. It's gonna be amazing. No, 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 no. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna, you know what the, the 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 this is what I think a Roman Reigns match should look like. Like his angle right now is, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna say one thing, and I'm gonna beat you up. That's it. That's what he needs to do. Eggplants. <laughs> yeah. No, to seriously. Beat you up. <laughs> Tell me one thing Roman Reigns has said. During this entire feud, chicken parmesan. What? You can't. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's gonna about? say one thing. Yeah, I mean, seriously, you you can't Random tell food. me. You can't tell me a single line that Roman Reigns has said to Kevin Owens. He just shows up. He's just kind of Seth Rollins' he's, big buddy. He's there. He's there. Yeah, yeah. He's he's, he's and, Seth Rollins' big pal that comes out and and assists him in. And they're actually making like kind of a, a, a an incidental thing. They're making Seth Rollins, R- Roman Reigns, is uh, Paul Heyman type. So so he's so Seth Rollins is really kind of sort of Roman Reigns' mouthpiece. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting out of touch with Raw. Uh, it, it's it's been rough. With the, with the, with the, so I, I feel like I missed a lot. Even though I don't think I really missed Raw, but I watched the Hulu cut one week, and I feel like I missed everything important. You probably did. Sort of. Like probably like did. like this yeah. Seth the the or, uh, the Sami Zayn thing is completely left field for me. What, what going in, going into last night? That was amazing. Yeah, I it, 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 again woke up and I'm just like this is some good stuff. I wish I didn't sleep through half of it. Uh, with with him and him and Mick. Uh, it, you know it, it's. I there there's there's some again it feels like why are you three hours but it feels like there's still a lot going on on Raw like it feels like they're they're filling the three hours pretty good. They've been doing a really good job building up the roadblock. Mm-hmm. Good. Like the, the, the last three weeks, I would say Raw has been really solid. And 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 that's good because I feel like that that roadblock uh uh, uh could have very easily been a throwaway, right? Mm-hmm. It's. It's no, it's it's a week it's it's a straight week before Christmas, um you know where things Very get weird Ryan. anyways, uh so 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 yeah um yeah it, it's it, I think they've done a lot with that that's that's been pretty good um I, I'm looking forward to it I, I just thought like hey we're just gonna see kind of a throwaway show here in, in Pittsburgh man that sucks. When they announced this back in what was that July the last time they were here? Mm-hmm. So Iron Woman match, an Iron Woman match, right? Hey, Bobby, can you call recall yeah. back? I'm getting some uh, some bad connection issues oh, with sure. you. 
So I was, that's why I was pausing. I was trying to get you over in the hangout. Uh, but yeah, we got an Iron Woman, Woman match, thirty minute Iron Woman match, which which again, kind of thinking about it, you know, could end up being the main event again. It could be, and and they're they're per, like Sorg. I'm pretty sure you're you're not catching up on like the local commercial type stuff. Oh, absolutely not. Like the past, let's say two weeks ago, the the main event. I mean, the the main name that they were mentioning was Rome was the champion versus champion Roman Reigns versus uh 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 Kevin Owens match mm-hmm. but now this this past week it was all about the Iron Woman match I feel like generally it I've was, seen more promos all around about the about Charlotte and Sasha mm-hmm. that video package I showed was amazing mm-hmm. sweet that they I mean that's I think they showed part of that on SmackDown tonight, I, you know, it's, it's been everywhere. It's been absolutely everywhere. I mean, it, it's being prominently featured, uh, not to the point where where you know they were going into Hell in a Cell, where they were on the poster, they were on the the, the preview thing. I don't even know who's on the preview on the on the network when it, when I pull up the app uh, because it's only been a week since TLC and seeing AJ yeah. Styles on there and and. and you know, it's it's coming too fast. I can't keep up with them. Hell, I have half. I, don't of, know what the, I have half I don't an know episode what to do this week. <laughs> I have an ep- There's no pay per view. I know, right? I have half an episode of Two Five Live. I haven't even gotten past. So, uh, <laughs> and I'm still working on that. That's a whole other conversation because I'm actually really enjoying that. It's coming off way better than I expected. Mm-hmm. But that, that that's something else. Um, there's a whole new show on that, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mad Mike is doing a, a midweek war Two Five Live. Trying that out. So please. Give them some feedback. Go check it out. If you want a 205 Live recap show, um, the, you know, hit, up, hit them up for that. Uh, that's, that's, and I actually might watch that in time, so I might have to uh, pop into a, a show with him on Thursdays here. Um, so, Anyways, no, no uh, uh, yeah, holy crap, women's wrestling. And side note, we found this out from our friends Mikey and Bob over on uh, 96 Kiss here <laughs> locally, that Sasha Banks will be here in Pittsburgh on Friday night reading Twas the Night Before Christmas at Kennywood mm-hmm. for the Holiday Lights celebration. <laughs> um, what? Another thing I'm going to miss. <laughs> but still... Just this, add it to the list. This I is have a, a list, too. I feel like this is going to be on the internet, for one thing. So I don't, I don't know if it you might be. really have to worry about missing the thing. But... Maybe they'll Facebook live it. Maybe they'll somebody will Facebook live it. Maybe we'll be on the Instagram live, something <laughs> like that. But that's pretty freaking tremendous right there. So, um, Sasha Banks was like, it, it, that has to be somewhere. I, maybe they'll record it for the network or something. Like I, I feel like, and I know they go around and do these promotions. Obviously, Jericho was here in town because because of the pay per view next week and everything uh, at the Monroe Con- Convention Center. And uh, mm-hmm. you'll know, happen to show up at International Wrestling Cocktail as well. Um, but uh, but 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 I feel like that's not a typical thing that happens, right? Like I I, I don't know. It, it just just seems like that 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 sticks out a little bit. So and, and it's normally like it's it's Pittsburgh local celebrities that are reading, right? Like uh, our mm-hmm. our P, the local PBS documentarian Rick Seabat. Uh, uh, is 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 usually the one reading it. It feels right, or Pittsburgh Dad, or something like 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 that. I, I want I want somebody to Facebook clap Rick Seaback reading the night was night 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 before Christmas. <laughs> night before Christmas. It, it's there out there. Is it, it, it has to be? Well, he did it. He, seriously, he did do he it. Did once, it. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did it last year. Yeah, they do this every year. They have somebody go come in and do this, like somebody of a decent uh, uh, semi celebrity at least. You know, mm-hmm. so. Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, like we said, the Sami Zayn and Braun Strowman thing has been <laughs> expertly done. Holy crap! You know, I mean, they got me excited for this match. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, oh, he's gonna get well his done. ass kicked. So, so, it, so it's turned into oh, last ten minutes with him. Like, it's not a, it's not a full on match, right? Yeah. Like it, it's can you can you stick around? Can you hang with Braun Strowman for ten minutes? It's a ten minute Iron Man match. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> just- <laughs> I'm just sad. All red, everything isn't coming to the all red show. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Oh, so. Like Rob said, I want to. I want to. Go ahead. Like Rob said, I want to trade uh, ten Eva Marie cards for one Sami Zayn card in uh, WWE Slam. 
<laughs> Certainly. Um, but no, so that'll be interesting. Uh, also, Seth Rollins, Jericho, come on. That'll be a classic <laughs> between those guys, plus whatever other shenanigans around the uh, Jericho Owens explosion. I'm kind of excited about uh, Big Cass and Rusev, too. That's going to be. That's a- actually going to open the show. Is it? Yeah. Wow. That's the uh, kickoff show. What a weird, what oh, a kickoff. weird little feud for them to kind of pull out yeah. of nowhere. You know, are, are they trying to push? I guess I think I think that's what they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. They're trying to push Cass into the single spotlight because I don't think they are too. Oh God, look at up. him! Yeah, I don't think they're too hopped up on uh, Enzo at the moment because yeah. he's you know, my size. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, Cass had the singles run when Enzo was hurt. Now it's Enzo's turn to do something, get beat up and get beat up in, uh, uh, get, you know, get, be- get beat up in hotel rooms, I guess. Uh, so sure. Um, we're also uh, going to go ahead. Legit question. Are the tag titles on the line? I don't uh, I wouldn't see, see why not anything. It, it, they, they should be, but I, they haven't I, announced anything no, yet. No, yeah, maybe it'll be a surprise thing. Maybe maybe demolition yeah. will pop up and we'll or we'll just kind of have a thing happen there. <laughs> She's a de- will face demolition. demolition. <laughs> but the one guy has to dress as uh as the repo man. Another yeah, the repo man. Well, yeah. you know, you know both of them were here in Pittsburgh and cut a promo on New Day like oh. at the beginning of the month. It's not great. It's like them and Bill after. But uh but uh it it, it, it you know, so I don't know. Like they, they seem to pop up in the area a bit. I don't, I don't think they're from too far away. It, it, it's completely within the realm of possibility. So mm-hmm. I, I just I just wonder how they handle that because those guys don't look too hot these days. No. Nor do they like put the full makeup on. So like it's it's <laughs> so kind of have you have you have you seen their matches in the nineties, right? Yeah. I was a huge demolition. They didn't look fan. all that together, Latin, like in the nineties. Yeah, but you know, yeah, so, yeah. They, they still look like somebody's dads in the nineties. <laughs> I, I guess everybody did. This is true. This is true. This is, this is true. Everybody in, in had the eighties, especially. <laughs> I'm pulling up a picture. I'm. I'm everybody I'm, looked like a dad. I'm. I'm. Oh. Uh, I'm. Uh, 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 gonna go past my. Uh, Member berries and 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 pull up a picture. Member I don't know. I just, of course, then I just Google images of demolition and I get heavy machinery. So <laughs> yeah, you do. Member, super, member superstars that look like dads. I don't know. I remember. I don't know what. what you, I don't. Gonzalez. I don't know what your PTA <laughs> meetings were like, but I don't think they looked like that. Member Greg the Hammer Valentine. <laughs> All right. Uh, also, we got a three-way dance. TJ Perkins, Rich Swan, friend of the IWC over at IndieWrestling.us, and uh, Brian Kendrick in the three-way for the Cruiserweight title. Um, man, uh, a side note, I've been loving 205 Live. Like, Has that yeah. not come off way better than you expected it to? Mm-hmm. Like, For the thing they're, they're legit filming live right after SmackDown, people are into it. I, I have a feeling maybe part of the arena has left because they've darkened it. But uh, but but still, like like the people that stick around are the people into this, right? Yeah, but it, move them down a little bit. Yeah, like it, you can hear them slightly in the background, and it, it just sounds like they're doing it in a in a dark arena. Okay. Okay. Like I I. I you, there should be more people doing the, the you can't handle this dance. There's more people sh- that should be excited for Jack freaking Gallagher. Mm-hmm. There should be more people excited for Drew Gulak and, and all these guys that put their butts on the line every night and it, it put on a great show for these guys. There should they move them down. If, if there are seats available, move them down mm-hmm. and, and go from there. Like you're not going to get, a whole bunch of you're not going to get a whole bunch of you know fans if you're going to hear in, in, like far off into <laughs> into the cheap seats. Wait, wait, what so was that again? Know. What what was that impression again, Riz? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd like to apologize. 
and it, but I I'd like to apologize for what? last night. I got mad at Lince Dorado. Why? Uh, I I did because I thought Jack Gallagher was coming out, and I and I tweeted out <laughs> my 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 Jack Gallagher tweet like, if you've never seen this guy on Raw, you got to see him right now. He's going to be on, and then Lince Dorado comes. <laughs> I'm like, damn it, Lince Dorado. And then, then, then Jack. Let's say, let's say Dorado is a nice that. fellow. He's a nice gentleman. Oh, I know he's great. Yes. He's great, but I just was hyping up Jack Gallagher, and it didn't work. Nope, nope, nope. It, it was kind of a catch point because then they show a promo on Jack Gallagher and yeah. everything, and then they're like, yeah. like, and here's Lindsay Dorado. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Lindsay yeah. Dorado. Um, Kevin Newbank, Kevin. <laughs> But uh, no, uh, but no, I, I think they got some good stuff. I, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm just excited for Roadblock as I was for TLC. They're starting to get. Uh, sorry to come back to the two hundred five. No, go ahead. They're starting to get personality in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something they lacked Noam, during Raw. Noam Dar did an awesome promo last week. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're getting that. You're getting that bit of character. You're getting that bit of dedication to that, especially on the on the on the two hundred five live show itself. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like um, you're going to continue. You're going to since this is the only place where this happens. I feel like you're going to be very disjointed when people come around and only watch Raw, and you're getting all these kind of storylines kind of coming back and forth, right? Mm-hmm. Um, like I kind of felt that when I watched Raw and didn't have the opportunity because I was traveling to watch Two Hundred Five Live, and I'm like, "What the f do you mean, Rich? Th- Rich Thwan is the, is a cruiserweight champion, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, kind of that that little bit of catch up uh, going on. Sword can't handle it. I I can't <laughs> handle this. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. Um, yeah, exactly. Well, uh, well, we'll get back around and talking about some other uh. uh misbehaving raw people uh but in the meantime go check out our uh, friends our uh, com- our sister site over at indie wrestling.us not only can you catch a lot of the indie wrestling interviews we uh, recent weeks talking to area blake jimmy vegas um and so much more bobby shields and uh les thatcher uh, I, I, there was a interesting conversation I had with somebody with you know was very excited bc steel because he got to be uh pretty much on the same episode as Les Thatcher talking about sex and wrestling, um, and, and and apparently had to explain that concept before uh, Kelly Klein went to watch the video. Uh, but anyways, uh, so uh, go check out that columns like around the Indies, and we might have some more stuff popping up here. Uh, we're we're trying to acquire some more writers on here, but the big thing is uh, representation of a lot of indie wrestling, like uh, the Renegade Wrestling Alliance, the International Wrestling Cartel, the brand new premier wrestling uh, premier championship wrestling out of Cleveland, Ohio. A new episode gonna uh, do to go up this week. Uh, new shows from this weekend, including IWC's Winner Takes All, uh, that's been making a lot of press, including uh, the appearance of Chris Jericho. Not gonna be part of the DVD, but still. Uh, he was. Uh, it attracted him. Samuel Elias or Sam Adonis uh, of CMLL fame, uh, Pittsburgh brother of Corey G- Graves, taking on front of the show Chris LaRusso, um, as well as geez, what happened? First women's championship uh, for IWC. Britt Baker winning that one. Uh, you can see all that action as well as RWA's season beatings, which looks like a bloody and wild affair. From the pictures I've been seeing so far, look and edit that and get that released by the end of the week. All of that stuff over at IndieWrestling.us. Sign up for the newsletter. You'll get updates about Wrestling Mayhem Show. You get a free digital download from the IWC, including AJ Styles on that show. And uh, you get updates about sales and new releases from IndieWrestling.us. Go check it out. Support Indie Wrestling and support IndieWrestling.us. So there was a story over the weekend. Monday, maybe it popped up uh, that got a lot of conversation going. Uh, mm-hmm. This the the uh, on on our Facebook group, especially over on Twitter. Um, there's a, there was a lot going on over there. But I even wrote about it, so. and even a column, <laughs> a Riz rant over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I think that's your first Mayhem Show Riz rant, wasn't it? Usually that's something. That's my had. first Mayhem Show Riz rant. Usually, it's well, a, no, 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 I had I had an email at one point. I had an email Riz Rant one oh, point. That's right, of course. But this is my first post on the Wrestling Mayhem Show boards for Riz Rant. So you guys are welcome. So basically, uh, Kevin Owens, live show, uh, you know, as, as you do. And this kid, seven years old, 
And uh, well, I'm making sure I'm trying to pull up the the proper group, but I keep. So up. can I get, uh, go ahead, he, Riz? Riz, you wrote the column out. on it. What happened? Uh, so kid bought a bought a first uh, front row seat at a live show. Probably the parents. Uh, his, the parents. The parents bought a, a front row <laughs> seat. That is a rich kid. Okay, first the parents or the parents bought the ticket for the kid to sit front row at a wrestling show. The parents put Roman Reigns' shirt on the kid because that's probably his favorite wrestler. And the kid came up to uh, to the, the barricade when uh, Kevin Owens was leaving after Roman Reigns won. And, you know, like, like a normal seven-year-old kid does, sticks his hand out, trying for a high five for, you know, Kevin Owens. Uh, and Kevin Owens... I believe uh, told the kid to to get a different shirt, get his shirt, and, and, then, and then he backtracked and go, no, don't buy my shirt, don't ever buy my shirt, get out of my face, and then he walks away. Like, don't touch me. Yeah, don't, don't touch ever touch me. me. He said, yeah, don't ever touch me. Don't buy my shirt. Get out of the way. And then and that was it. And then I, I think he also said something else, but. I think he, he said, said you're, I, yeah. "You're my son. I'm your father." <laughs> yeah, he said, "I'm your father," really loud, and it was, it was that, that part was weird. But <laughs> leave it to yeah. Kevin Owens. But that's a heel thing to do. Mm. Like how many how many times have we watched a a uh, a, a Dustin video of him? I'm using his proper name, by the way, uh, for the, the artist formerly known as Chuck Taylor. How many times have we seen that video of him scaring one, two, like three kids in one night in a row, making them cry and upset going through the damn show? Mm-hmm. And, 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 and like I posted in the chat and in, in the, not the chat, in the, in my article, there's a whole lot worse that could have happened. Mm-hmm. Like I posted the, uh, well, the wrestler, the wrestlers that were involved talking about the, uh, the mass transit incident with the fan and, and new Jack. I posted some more ECW videos. Uh, I posted just the entire video library of ECW. Yeah, the, entire, <laughs> the entire list of ECW. Maybe some indie shows. Uh, <laughs> and See, and I also posted people. some stuff like with Ric Flair and how like really like disgusting he was talking in back in the day, and like some of his promos were about him doing having orgies in eight in Marriott eight oh six. Look it up, <laughs> uh, ladies. And Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens could have done a. a uh, moonsault off of that kid like that the Seth Rollins did to that larger gentleman. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but, and, and, and then of course the mother, uh, and I do respect the mother for, you know, speaking out about this, but to an extent, because she put the blame solely on Kevin Owens, the wrestler, the heel wrestler. Mm-hmm. What the heck is Kevin Owens supposed to do in that situation? Mm-hmm. Tell me. And well, there was a response. Have we mentioned the response from Kevin Owens in this? Yes, go ahead. In this, go uh, ahead. I mean, he he. It was uh, uh, the paraphrase because I don't have it right in front of me, but it was like uh, uh, you know, uh, mother is trying to complain and get free merch. Uh, that's it. No, that's <laughs> it. That is one hundred percent what this is. Yeah, and and you can tell in the thing that that this was a hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, a wrestler quote: A wrestler told my son not to touch him. I'm completely heartbroken. Well, not really, but if I complain, maybe I'll get free stuff. And there's just a picture of of Kevin Owens laying on his face. <laughs> yeah, and and, and <laughs> it, it was like the the story was was really. A, a story that you probably hear many times before sword mm-hmm. like it, 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 to me it was like the well 
the rest like the, the video games made this kid violent or the the, the wrestling moves made made him you know, hurt this other kid, or it made me made me feel like I shouldn't be the blame for this. It should be the thing okay. that made hey, him. Now, do it. I want to take this hey. around. Now, none of us, none of us are parents here. Okay, no. none of us have to deal with a seven year old, whatever emotional state, or or, or deciding that. deciding what your kid can 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 handle and what what to expose them to and, and stuff like this because i mean i think there was a, a very telling but, thing like my, my child was was staring at the ground because they were so de- dejected after this for the rest of the show and stuff so i want to get to comments of parents that were in our our, our group uh, uh jen carlin saying mason is seven years old he knows the difference between hill and face he's gone to shows the sandman scared the crap out of him but he knew yeah. he he knew he was working i agree with ko if i complain maybe i'll get free stuff this is the same kid that i i, I sat before signed him during his very first wrestling show and uh and 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 the bad guys were coming out and yelling at his dad and told him to shut up and he just looked at his dad's like he told you to shut up like you know i mean this is like if this kid was truly a fan of kevin owens he knows he's an asshole right and 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 it should be enforced you know even wrote that yeah yeah i mean the mother wrote that and it says i didn't think this like i i i i she acknowledged like, him, he, the character he is, but it, and 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 they always interact. I mean, I think maybe maybe Kevin mm-hmm. Owens still has this kind of indie wrestling mentality where he's going to pick somebody out and 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 target them like that. You know like, what I mean? Like in in her in her blog post, she did say Jericho's done the that, same thing. Oh, Jericho has done. This we've had we, yeah. we've had the same conversation about something Jericho's done in the last five years. People had their signs ripped out of the crowd and torn. We yeah. talked about Jericho disrespecting a flag. Yeah. And and CM Punk telling somebody he, he has a vagina. <laughs> Forgot about that. I remember that video now. <laughs> like like multiple times, very loud, in front of a camera he knows is on. Mm. Yep. Rob's in here saying it's when the adults start crying that I get annoyed. There's some d- adults that cry at some of the indie yeah. shows, and that's actually pretty great. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, Je- Jessica Havoc grabbed my thigh. I mean, that has nothing to do with anything. I just want to Bobby, pick it up again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. It, Thanks, it, Bobby. It's, it's it's accurate because Bobby also cried on that. I, I, oh, did. I did. I did. Um. Oh, the, the, friend, of the I mean, friend, friend of the show. Friend of the show. Hold on, hold on. Friend of the show. Look BC look Steel. Uh, are saying that he should have just power bombed the kid. Yeah, <laughs> so, power bomb. There you go. Well, look at look at Sasha and, and Izzy. It, that was actually Sasha a video. I, I think Matt Carlin's uh, included the video of that where Sasha grabbed her her head headband and threw it. Now I think I think it's also it's also a different environment because that was NXT. That was full sale. Yeah. Um, yeah. That family already has this sort of relationship with those characters and i believe afterwards sasha came in and apologized like out of character yeah, after the show like i think that's a, that, that, that that did happen um so wasn't i mean there, wasn't there an incident with triple h where he scared a kid and then it, like the kid started crying and he like come over and like hugged him yeah he broke character and like yeah, he broke character and he went over and he like hugged him and said it's gonna be yeah, all right that, that was recently shared wasn't it it's from like <laughs> like yeah. Like it was it from a recent from WrestleMania? Maybe something, man. Maybe, maybe. I mean, no, that was Randy Orton. Well, no, no, no. Randy I was Orton talking about like a long time ago. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, the, 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 the recent ones, Randy Orton, Shane's kid. Yeah, Randy Orton was Shane's kid after he got hurt at, at Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. But no, you're right. Yeah. I think there was also something with Triple H that it, it, it yeah. made the rounds recently, but I'm not sure if it was from a recent match with Triple H. Like it was maybe from a few years ago. ago. So. But, but that's uh, different. It, it, Triple H is the "quote unquote" owner of the of WWE. Well, yeah, I mean he's a he's a big wig. Kevin he's, Owens he's a is a is a it, and I, I made the, uh, is a uh, participant. He's the guy that's in there to make it better. Mm-hmm. And, and I posted this in in the article, and I said this is just like you buying it's a front row seat at a comedy show where there's an insult comic. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know that's that, true. that guy is going to get on your ass. Mm-hmm. 
and make sure that everybody in that front row has its day with that with that comic. And and he went up to the wrong. Apparently, he went up to the wrong kid. Mm-hmm. I mean, wrong I mean, kid died. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to quit walk hard. <laughs> But yeah, it, it just to me, it, it it's just a matter of of of, a, of of an overly protective parent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's and that, that, that's that's a consensus on here too. Uh, uh, Mainstream, and and the kid, the kid even told the mother, "I don't even like Kevin Owens." Well, no, no, no. He <laughs> used to. He used to, and he has his shirt. He used to, and he's mm-hmm. not even in his top ten anymore. He said, apparently, uh, uh, according <laughs> to the letter. Matt, never, uh, Matt Carlin. He's never going like, to watch wrestling again. No, no, no. He's, he's not going to no, do no, anything no, 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 just no, no, no. because he didn't have a high five. Uh, well, the I've kid, said this before. Oh, good. Sorry. The kid, the kid, well, yeah, the kid needs to be, have a conversation with the parents and needs to be kind of adjusted for this, I think. But uh, no, no, Mike Carlin says that. He says, uh, I don't know how, sh- I'm not sure how, how that my seven-year-old is uh, smartened up, but I know this isn't how I would handle this as a parent. So no. there you go. Yeah. So there's, there's some, 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 some lines from the parents in our group. I don't know how much of, of these commenters are, are as well. I, I, go ahead, Bobby. I've said this before, and I will say it again. I will stand by this statement. WWE is is at its best when they make little kids cry. Mm-hmm. It, it it it's the best. See that video of uh of when when uh Randy Randy Savage and uh, Miss Elizabeth got back together. <laughs> that one kid who was in the wizard hat was like yeah. crying his <laughs> ass. Yeah, was it was it like a like a weird? I don't know. I don't know what that kid's choices were, but. Yeah. They were, it was like the late 80s, early 90s. It's okay. I'm going to go to the wrestling show cosplaying as a wizard. I don't know what cosplaying is because it's the 1980s. But still, it's like one of the things. It's fine. Kevin Owens is supposed to act like a dick. Like, like if I, if I like He's supposed to act like a, a giant... Douche. Yeah, you know, this is this is a good point. Chris Biker, um, um, a long time listener to this show, Hi, Chris. says in the says in the group, uh, Ko is a fantastic heel and played a part of perfection. The late great Larry Sweeney, another friend of the show, once told me, as a heel, if we get booed and hated, then we did our our job right. And 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 I go back to all these stories I hear, especially around the studio wrestling and everything, talking about that. I, mean, I, I sat there a, a couple months ago. And uh, a referee, Bucky Palermo, here in the area, uh, famous and, and and shoemaker to the stars. Actually, that's a whole other story. Um, discussed how 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 he once had to count the three count on Bruno San Martino in a two out of three fall uh, tag match in Johnstown, and didn't know how he was going to get out of the arena alive. Uh, so I mean, this is well, that was, that like was we're talking. Because it was it was still in five foot of water. So. No, there's that too. There's that too. Um, but the storied the storied history uh, of 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 the great heels of the past having their tires slashed and their limos mobbed and police escorts. Um, which, Larry Zabisco got stabbed. Yeah, exactly. Um, there was a, there was another one. No, we just uh, Dan uh, 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 Dan Polinsky, uh, Corey Gray's father, was just just telling us a story this past weekend at the at the um, the Palisades in McKeesport, where you know we've seen IWC in the past, and and Global Force came back to this year about a guy stabbing one of the guys because <laughs> he couldn't take that his guy was losing. Right? They didn't have barricades back then, guys. Um, and this is like. This is kind of a small venue in comparison to like the freaking civic arena that we talk about or Madison Square Garden, but still, like, like this is, you know, th- this is this, this. Kevin Owens is doing. They, they're right, you know. Kevin Owens is doing his job. If he pissed this parent off enough that you know they're writing, it's like, well, you know, I and I know the company corporate line can't be, yeah, he's a bad guy, tough luck. It's probably going to be. Here's another Roman Reigns T-shirt, but yeah. uh, now that that's made this much press, uh, which is unfortunate and, and unfortunately um, encourages this kind of um, uh, a reaction. But still, Kevin Owens, good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, 
The best. It's like Kevin the, Owens. It's good. like it's like the kid. That's needs why more, he's the champ. It's like the kid just needs mm-hmm. more bullies in his life, so he'll he'll uh, toughen up a little bit, right? Like like we like all that, like like, the, like we all did in school. That's the point where you pull your kid off to the side and go, "Look, he really didn't mean it." Because this isn't this isn't real. Like that that's, that's that's where you wake him up. Like uh, that's, that's that's where, where you, you wake have, that kid up. That's where you have the Santa the WWE Santa Claus conversation with him. Um, right? That kid. Wait, wait, what? What do you mean, sir? Riz, Riz, I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. I know it's it's so close to the uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Risk. It's so close to the holiday season. <laughs> it's it so is. I, and I don't want to to really want to ruin you. the season for. You. I didn't want to be the one to tell you about this. But is he making a list? But and I can't find the right image. But I know it's here somewhere. But you just uh, made the list. Santa Claus is actually Balls Mahoney. What? Oh, oh Santa, Santa Claus! Santa Claus is actually balls my oh, Santa, Santa's gone. Okay, that, that's much better now. Um, All right, yeah, that, that's, that's where that, that that's where that should have went. <laughs> it should have went to the hey, look, he's not. It, it doesn't doesn't matter. It's not. He doesn't really think that way. He's actually a pretty good guy. But no, it was just a. A, a ploy to get more free shit. All right. Anyways, that that's enough. That kid is going to have a story for the rest of his life. That is true. That is true. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. Like, if I, was, if, man, WWE, if I was a seven-year-old and, and, and I had, like, like the million-dollar man tell me I was a piece of crap at ringside when I was sitting in front row, um, I, then... He laughed in my face. <laughs> and laughed in my face. And then Virgil kicked the basketball out of my. Like, I was really close to not caring. And then he, I mean, he just kicked the I didn't, ball out I didn't of, go my, to a de- of my hand. I, I didn't, he charged me twenty dollars. <laughs> I didn't go into a depression when Chris Masters called me a redneck. I didn't. I, I mean, Riz, Riz, you didn't go into a deep depression when you got completely slaughtered in an interview with RJ City and Don Castle. I mean, <laughs> just playing the part. Just playing the part, right, Riz? It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's just a part of life and wrestling, and sometimes. I mean, now now we're friends. Yeah, now you're friends. Now, now, now you're we good talk buddies. about the Golden Girls whenever we get a chance, and Golden Girls spinoffs. <laughs> and there's some so kid. And there's, it gets better. After and there's there's, so there's some comments from our live Facebook team out there. I think may have commented on the initial Facebook post too. Says it's not how you handle it as a parent. The parents should be upfront with uh, some aspects of it. I hope she's not talking about the Santa Claus balls Mahoney part. Um, but uh, <laughs> wait, who's saying that? Oh, hey, the, the and here's a heads up: the New Day is going to be at a Toys R Us out around here too. So keep an eye what? out for that. Monroeville? And uh, yeah, there you go. Wait, really, Monroeville? This is a travesty. I don't, I don't know which one. Oh, okay, I mean, this is a travesty, oh. Bobby. Bobby, you got to make it happen. Bobby, did you break things? What? Bobby my broke magnet, things. My magnet stuck under the piano lid. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have a piano in your? In... Don't don't ask. Wait, you have a piano, Bobby? I have a piano in my room, Bobby. Do you play the wow. piano? No, I do not. Play wait, wait, the wait, piano. What? The <laughs> like the, this is this, this is, is a shocking. No, no, this is this is shocking now. This is <laughs> well. I know what we're doing before we come back with the big room. question. I will prove that I have a piano in my room. <laughs> you don't have to. We're on the show. Wow, it's okay. it is a piano. Hey, look what's on the piano. Pops. <laughs> oh, I see. It's just the Pops, Pops holder. It's just the Pops holder. Um, guys, hey, g- give a shout out to Slice on Broadway, our good friends up here, on, uh, up from the studio here, on the main tracks here in Beachview in Pittsburgh. Also uh, uh, in Main Street in Carnegie, PA, if you're visiting on the way to the airport. Carnegie, PA. That's yes, awesome. Carnegie. Carnegie, PA, as well as PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Check them out. Great stuff. Supporting the show. Support Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good long time. Slice on Broadway.com. PGA underscore slice on the Twitter. Let them know. The mayhem send you. Let's take a a look at one of those shows that's uh, also on the Sorgatron Media Network. And we'll be right back with the big question. Let's talk tech. 
tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. Check it out at awesomecast.net. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the tour with Bobby F. J-Town and The Riz. It is time for your biggest of big questions. Guys, Mad Mike uh, uh, put this one to us this week. He's, of course, um, um, what is, what, what are they calling the Toys R Us on the ads on WWE? The, like, the, like place of awesome or something like that? Um, something. But, yeah, but that's where he is uh, uh, this holiday season, in as, as you would. Yes, Narnia, exactly. <laughs> but he has a big question. He says, uh, you know, obviously, uh, uh, kind of as a counter to this whole Kevin Owens thing that we talked about in the first half of the show, um, what is your best personal interaction with a wrestler during a show? I know, Bobby, you're already talking about earlier today that I one time mine with earlier. Jessica Havoc. <laughs> Yes. but i i think you have another one i do have another one um picture it johnstown pennsylvania johnstown pa everything county, county war memorial everything's not wet. sure what year it was okay me and bo diggity were sitting in the crowd Ooh. and we yelled out did did you just give him a your uh, a purple uh, what was it purple, purple nurple, nurple? Something pur- like that. You don't even know. I think it was a purple nurple. I think it was a purple nurple. Close enough. Moving on. At, at Dolph Ziggler. And Dolph Ziggler looked at us and went, what? In the middle of the match. Dead silence. We just mar- we marked that. It was great. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh. Purple nurple so, story. Beat the purple nurple story, Riz. <laughs> it's gonna be easy to beat. It's <laughs> it's gonna be easy. So it's actually the, gonna be my first time going to IWC. Uh oh. Uh. So. So it, it was my friend and I. We we saw this the, the uh, this commercial for come meet Matt Hardy at No Excuses in. Um, in the Monroeville, in the Monroeville area. So of course I grabbed my, like I grabbed everything. I I grabbed the the only thing that I had of Matt Hardy's that I had. And it was, it was the raw magazine cover of Jeff and Matt, like doing a little pose. And then we get there and he, I stand in line for the, the autograph, I get up to the autograph, st- the, uh, I get up to the table. First thing he asked me, he goes, so uh, where are you from? And then the first thing I said, I'm Pittsburgh. Like, uh, the first thing that popped in my head, I was like, oh, everybody's from Pittsburgh, aren't they? Shit. So, so that's strike one. Uh, strike two was when I handed him the book, the, the, the thing to sign, he goes, this is probably the worst photo shoot I've ever taken. Why did you bring this to me? I'm just like, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Just, just, just sign it. Just sign the fucking book. And then, and then the third thing is, uh, there was, we had to take a Polaroid picture, of course, in 2006. Uh, and the Polaroid came out shitty. Like it came out like an old timey photo, and I had to make sure it was like. <laughs> Were you like, dressed as as a nineteen twenties gangster? <laughs> yeah, and and like it was the weirdest <laughs> moment I've ever like. It was, well, well, besides you know the the RJ City Don Castle <laughs> thing, this was one of the most the, the weirdest interactions I've had with any wrestler. Was Matt Hardy a heel at the time? No, this was this was oh, well. <laughs> this was like this was the uh, this was right before no this was right after he got taken away on Raw after like jumping the railings and attacking Edge like okay. like when when he was feuding with Le- like with Edge and Lita so right when he was coming back so yeah right when he was coming back right when he was doing a face like being a face so it was weird 
that he just started yelling at me for sending him this dumbest picture. Like the, <sighs> but yeah, and and of course I I think I still have that somewhere around here. But and and the insert by the way was a Terry Runnels uh, giant like a fold out. So that was pretty cool. Um, and the actual match between AJ Styles and uh, Matt Hardy was pretty damn good. Like, uh, is that, is that one of the ones on digital downloads or, uh, that should be available on digital download. Yes. At indie wrestling.us. Yes. And I'm pretty sure it should be less than four ninety nine or four ninety nine or less. So there yeah, you go, go, you go look at new, new, actually just look up and, Matt Hardy. Uh, find, find Riz. There's a couple of Matt Hardy things, but you can do spot the mayhem. Honestly, you can do spot the mayhem or on like probably about 2005 and on in IWC um, <laughs> catalog, uh, whether on camera or in the crowd. So speaking of spot the mayhem, I just realized I found footage that I didn't know existed. And oh. and because I was I remembered this one because I wanted a new story that I haven't told on the show. Because I mean, I, I've been I've been telling people a lot about the uh the Dominic DiNucci hiding behind me when I was, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, shooting ringside. I mean, I've had a lot of great stuff, like like just you know, like that. you know, million dollar man doing doing his money laugh into my camera. It just gives me chills just thinking about it. Right, great stuff like that over the years. But uh, but but as far as like kind of a a a great interaction, uh, let me take you back. Let's go. Let's go down uh, uh, memory lane, and apparently this footage. From the Gathering of the Juggalos, two thousand four. Oh no! Oh, uh, so again, you if you look up, uh, I'm already scared. Of JCW this Gathering yeah. Juggalos, two thousand four. The story is probably not going to hold up, other than the names involved. Do you remember uh, somebody named Monty Brown? Oh no! <laughs> Ow, Marcus Corvon. Marcus Corvon, the master, of, the master of the pounce. Yes. So somewhere in that crowd, probably to the right there, towards the stage. If I'm re- recollecting this right, because I think that's when I was shower- showered with a uh, light tube blast. Um, Monty Brown comes out, and this is probably earlier in the weekend here. They're doing an angle the entire weekend, about three shows over the course of the weekend. Um, that's basically JCW versus TNA wrestling. So uh, this is also the same weekend uh, current WWE referee Rudy Charles got blasted in the side of the head with a beer bottle and started bleeding in, so, in the middle of a match. <laughs> this match here is actually ICP and Terry Funk versus Kid Cash, Money Brown, and Jerry Lawler. Wrap your head around that. Um, yeah, but uh, but it was, I think this is the, the TNA angled weekend. I'm not sure. Maybe the week the year after. But anyways... Um, we there was this thing where we just like would would chant Chachi's mom. It was a whole thing that we did back in the day, right? The entire crew, our old Western PA Juggalos crew, is all in the crowd there, and uh, and, uh, and 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 at some point we're yelling Chachi's mom and Booker T at Monty Brown, uh, and and he had some words about Chachi's mom that I can't entirely remember other than being foul so that was kind of one of my earliest memories of an interaction uh with 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 money brown oh i think we're gonna call this show uh wrestling mayhem show 550 chachi's mom no no i'm sure (laughs) i'm pretty sure we already called about wrestling mayhem show 25 chachi's mom (laughs) if you look back in the history uh, cause that would have been around that kind of era. So about two, two years removed from this footage. So, um, I'm super pleased to see that somebody filmed those shows cause I know they filmed them and never released them because everybody kept throwing, throwing crap. And, uh, uh, also pleased when I went back to the gathering to see when somebody would throw something, there's a don't throw shit chant. The crowd was like self policing <laughs> like, at that point. Was it actual shit or was no, it no, just no, wait, don't throw Well, it. ah, there might've been at some point. Uh, no, that was Tila Tequila. Um, but anyways, oh yeah, that was Tila Tequila. Yes, uh, but not they're not going to throw shit at Jerry Lynn because he's a nice gentleman. Uh, but yeah. and he might have a heart attack again. <laughs> oh, the oh. best, the best interaction is probably the time where it was Doc Remedy's birthday and he got chopped by half the IWC roster, including Ray Rowe, Sterling James Keenan, Corey Graves, and uh, and standing beside uh, Jay Lethal. And just, just him just look at me like, this is some crazy shit. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> so that's my interaction with Jay Lethal. 
<laughs> I got I got a, I got a better one than I thought of. Okay. <laughs> um we were in Winber where I where I actually live. Um and MCW was there and Mick Foley was their special guest. Mm-hmm. Uh my friend Justin and I went up to get his autograph and, and picture and he's he we were next in line and like we're standing there and and he he puts up his like one minute guys and he's like texting on his phone and we walk up and and justin gets his autograph and stuff and he's like sorry about that guys he's like uh he's like uh i was i was just texting with sasha banks (laughs) she just texted me and i'm like we just were like what like we were one degree from Sasha Banks. <laughs> it was but cool though. I, and then, I and think then out of oh good. And then, and then I went and and I got Mick's autograph at Still City Con that same year, or I think it was maybe it was next the next year. And he, I told him that story. You were he, he was texting back and forth with Sasha Banks, and he's like, "Well, I got I got another one for you. I just texted Becky Lynch right before you got up here." <laughs> so it was like a full circle thing with Mick Foley uh, from the chat room. I think, Go ahead. I think out of every but every host here that we've had between myself, Bobby, Sorg, Eamon, uh Lunchbox. And everybody else that came before us, the best fan interaction between wrestler and fan is that one picture in time where Eamon is frightened by a jumping ACH. <laughs> yeah. I, think I, 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 I need I need to find that picture again, <laughs> and and just and just put that as my wallpaper on my. That's phone. what Eamon was in the crowd. <laughs> yeah. That was before Eamon Patton. That was that was one hundred percent Russell fan two thousand. Russell fan two thousand, <laughs> baby. I, I'm trying to find the exact thing, but I found the the highlights video. But I know it's in here somewhere. Uh, Wheels brought up in the chat room that time that that uh, uh, Demi Demarco used wheels in his wheelchair, just shoved the wheelchair <laughs> through through towards Necro Butcher, Jimmy not Demarco. not hitting Necro Butcher, but. Scaring, frightening Necro Butcher away with with wheels in a wheelchair, just being hurtled towards him. So, yeah, I, 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 I that's still absolutely my favorite story ever. Um, so what's your favorite story? Uh, put it in the comments below. Send us yeah. an email at good times at us like man show dot com. Uh, listen on Facebook. Do whatever you want on. And just do. Just have fun with it. There you go. Have fun with it. All right. We do have a voicemail. What? 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 You can also what? voicemail us at 412-206-WMS0, like our good friend here. Tap to play file. Is it the name? Hey, first of all, scratch that last voicemail. I think you got it. Okay. Uh, it was terrible. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Forgotten. But, uh, now, my first, the real true question I was going to ask you guys for tonight or whenever you guys get around to it. Uh, after seeing the events of what happened on Monday Night Raw between Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho, got me to thinking. Okay, so the guys, here's the question. What is the most memorable implosion of a stable faction or friendship? Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be thinking of all, all of you guys are going to be thinking of one thing in Hint Shield. So, uh, Okay, guys. I'm just going. Nope. So, hope you guys uh, have a good day and and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. See you guys. Bye. There you go. And I know he's listening to us right now on the iHeartRadio. Uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Bobby's got his hand up. Bobby's got his hand up. What, what's your? What, what do you got in mind? The thing that got me into wrestling, like the oh, no. thing that hooked me into wrestling. Barbershop window. Wow. Shawn Michaels shoving Marty Jannetty's face through a window. <laughs> I was hooked for life. Mm-hmm. That was my all time. It still is one of my all time favorite moments. Maybe my favorite moment in all of wrestling. So that's mine. <laughs> like that was, like back then, just like you didn't have splits like that as often. Right? No, or never just, did. I don't know if it's just a perception. Cause I, I, I look at things 
Like whenever I'm watching Network and I, and I look at like oh I'm watching this match and oh this was in 1986 and and you come back around and like oh six months later he was doing this match you know what I mean? Um, like it feels like it was forever back then, right? And the Even funny though, thing is, mm-hmm. I must have known Marty Jannetty was the dead weight in that team <laughs> because like. I didn't cry. The Rockers were my favorite tag team. I, I did not cry during that moment, but I cried when when Tugboat turned and turned into Typhoon. <laughs> like I, I didn't cry for Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty, because I knew Shawn Michaels was the better better wrestler. Wow! So, I wow! Know. I had no distinction. I, I had no. It was just like the Rockers. They were the Rockers. You yeah. know, there was no none stuck out. You know, I I. But again, I've always had a problem. Uh, distinctively telling apart people in the tag team fraternity finally can tell them apart. <laughs> I, I'm still don't know, I still don't know. I'm I pretty, still don't know who Dasher and Dolphy or, or da- whatever the. Oh no! Absolutely no idea. Well, I'm pretty sure in fraternity. Dasher and Wild. Or, Trent Gib- <laughs> I'm pretty sure Trent Gibbs is the one in the long tights, right? Anyways, uh, I don't know which one that is. Now we got to tell apart our TM sixty ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, TM sixty one. No friggin' clue. Author is a pain. I don't yeah, know which one. Only, I don't know which one's one Toka and which one's Razor. Johnny Gargano and Champa. Because <laughs> yeah. I know who Johnny Gargano. Who they are. <laughs> yeah, we have someone like that, or or like Keith Hot, Remy Levay, or or uh, uh, Jock Sampson and Brian Castle. You know who's Toka and, just, and who's Razor. <laughs> But we know they're babies. They're babies. They're babies. All the other rings, babies. Uh, sorry, I love doing that. Uh, <laughs> speaking speaking of Ninja Turtles too, how about that Kevin uh, Kevin Kevin uh, uh, Nash, Nash thing on We Watch Kevin Wrestling? <laughs> so, sorry. All right, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Bring it around. Bring it around. Anyways, um, sword yes. getting, getting the best. The best explosion is the only explosion when Whoa. the mega powers exploded. Oh yeah, was the oh, best yeah. because there was two people in the eighties that were definitely doing a lot of cocaine, and when they exploded, it was pretty amazing. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. What? <laughs> what? What is happening right now? <laughs> the eighties, the eighties. Um, no, I mean seriously, like, that's one that just had me hooked. Uh, be, you know, being uh, of that. The eighties cocaine explosion. The eighties. <laughs> were, were you hooked on it's the cocaine? It was, in, it was the eighties. Were you hooked Elvita. on the cocaine? <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching okay. some some amazing eighties Hulk Hogan promos where I'm just like, oh, I thought I thought he uh, just had a. I th- sword. I just thought he was hyped up on life. Sorg, don't look behind you right now. He's right behind you. He's right behind you. <laughs> Anyways, um, for me... Nope! <laughs> He's going. He's going. He's gone. I'm just going. I'm just going. I'm just going now. Okay. Uh, the, the best explosion had to be uh, the Owen Hart Bret Hart feud. Oh yeah! Like just that start of Owen Hart turning on Bret, like brother versus brother, brother attacking the brother because the brother was better than the other brother. That was like sibling rivalry to the nth degree on that one. So it was so well written, so really well done. Like it, the. I think we've mentioned this before uh, at, Re- at WrestleMania 10, we had that amazing moment where Owen Hart won the first match and then Bret Hart wound up winning the, the, the world heavyweight championship the same night. And it's made that, that even make it, made it even sweeter that, that moment even sweeter of just having that angle happen. So that's mine. And, and that that's amazing for me to look back on, by the way. Nice. Nice. From the chat room, from the uh, Facebook live chat, uh, we have a couple. Hey, chat. What's up, chat. chat? What's up, chat? Uh, Tina says the Trish yeah. Jericho implosion at WrestleMania 20. Yeah. Return. The, is that the one the lead in was the uh, Canadian dollar bet? Mm-hmm. for it oh yeah uh, yeah okay I, I i didn't think you guys uh, were yeah, catching on yeah yeah. And, and jericho, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So, uh, in wheels says Andre turning on Hogan on Piper's pit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That the, the 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 scene of him ripping his shirt and then his uh, his uh, chest bleeding from from the cross. Like and th- just like just like a Saul and Piper, just like having to tell Hogan he's bleeding. You know, it was just like it was really emotional. With that, I get sad every time that I watch that Hulkamania video. <laughs> yep. Yep. We all. Well, let's know. When it comes we- crashing down, and it hurts inside. Oh, so it hurts inside. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Let us know. Uh, uh, answer the big question and the little question that was uh, submitted to us. Now it's time to learn. What did you learn? Oh, Cena Rock. Wait, Cena Rock? Was that really a ex- implosion? Cena Rock. I think. Yeah, that was kind because of, they were kind of friendly to each other. Like in the beginning, were they? I like, kind of. Really? I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, it was a feud, you know, that they they made, but it, it wasn't like a friendly faction that that imploded yeah that's true like i i thought it was a feud from the beginning maybe so all righty uh so it's time to learn what did you learn from wrestling this week guys bobby i'll let you go i uh i learned that there's a new woman wrestler (laughs) that i have a a, a secret crush on (laughs) Uh, Kennedy Brink on ROH this weekend. I don't know if this if this bodes well for my future, but I think I'm attracted to women that can kick my ass. <laughs> I mean, Oscar, her. I don't know, but yeah, that's what I learned this week. Kennedy Brink. <laughs> yeah, Kennedy Brink. She oh. was trained by Devon and Bubba Ray Dudley. I'm trying to really f- good wrestler. Really good. And she really impressed the hell out of me on uh, Ring of Honor or Women of Honor this weekend. I don't even be able to. She find was her. in a tag team with, uh, with uh, oh, what's her name? Mandy John Leon? Peraza. No, the lawyer. Oh, Veda uh, Scott. Yeah, Veda Scott. Yeah, uh, she was she was in a tag team with her against two other girls. I didn't know who they were. <laughs> so. And they had a furry with them. Solo <laughs> Darling. Strange episode. Solo Darling. Solo Darling. It was, no, it was. It wasn't. She had a drink. Solo Darling. Was it okay? That is one hundred percent Solo Darling. Darling. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and a lollipop. Yes. You okay. are. You are explaining. Yeah. <laughs> you are explaining the tea. What's Solo Darling's character? I didn't cover that, I don't think. If I didn't know Solo Darling and you you explained that description, I would also say Solo Darling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Kennedy Brink, really impressive. She's undefeated in Ring of Honor, same as Kelly Klein. So far. I just oh, don't know any of those. Just pointing it out there. Yeah. Kelly Klein, um, the, Kelly, the, the, the former um, Mary Elizabeth Monroe, who I think you've seen on some local promotions. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, she's uh, she was also on the Pittsburgh show, which I actually just pulled oh. up. I actually just happened to pull up the YouTube that was the six woman tag from the beginning of the last mm-hmm. Pittsburgh show in, uh, involving uh, Bert Baker. So, oh, there she is. There you go. Um. But yeah, uh, Riz, what did you learn this week? I learned that uh, nothing says amazing than coming out to the ring. And explaining your intentions for thrashing. Wait, what? <laughs> when it wasn't even your match. I like how scoundrel was chanted. <laughs> Wait, where was this? Jack Gallagher. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a lot of wrestling guys. <laughs> I'm hey, trying to pull sorry, it all together. Did you fall asleep? Did you no, fall asleep I, I, during I the Jack Gallagher thing? I don't know what's happening. I don't know where, what's where happening anymore. He came anymore. to the ring during the uh, during the uh, Navari the match. And, just goes, and actually, just goes. I'm out here to attack you, and I'm I'm, I'm going to thrash you, you because you are a scoundrel. And then everybody started chanting "scoundrel" when he was coming out in the ring. So, Jack Gallagher, you sir are amazing, and you, you, as I point you with my great collie foot, you are what the VOD villains should have been. Yeah, instead of Simon Gotch getting eliminated in one second. 
Watch SmackDown. No. Mm-hmm. Sorg. Sorgatron. Oh, yes. Sorg. Riz. What did the chat room learn? Riz. The chat room learned, actually, from Twitter, first of all. Uh, what, did, what, did, what did the internet learn? Sorg? At Bro Douche. Whoa. A con- that's his name on there. Hi, Bro Douche. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Matt, Do- so Matt like Dugan Bro-douche. out there. Or, uh, or, wants- or is it Bro Do? Like, uh, Bro Do. Like Bro Do Shay. Bro Do Shay. I feel like we've had this conversation before. Uh, but he replies uh, on there, I want Alexa Bliss versus Luke Harper to main event the next SmackDown <laughs> pay-per-view. <laughs> Birdwa. Okay. Good one, Birdwa. All right. All right. Uh, also, sometimes the expected fake-out entrance at an indie show makes the actual appearance way better. I believe he's talking about earlier in the night at IWC. I believe that, I believe he's talking about the IWC thing. Um, there was... Uh, um, so earlier this year, friends of the show, Keith Hott and, and uh, Remy LeVay, were assisted in their uh, tag title win over the fraternity by Booker T. <laughs> and there was a joke about it, and, and they it. played Booker T's entrance music to distract them <laughs> for the bad guys to get one up at the beginning of the match. Then later in the night, Chris Jericho's actual music plays, and Chris Jericho <laughs> actually comes out. <laughs> so it all kind of comes together in the end. So, also from the Facebook group, we also put this question out. And uh, Alex Carr is out there in California. Uh, well, maybe not from wrestling, but I found out that one of my coworkers is a wrestling fan too. All the conversations will be had. Well, there you go. Ask cool. him, ask him what thing. you need to ask your coworker um, what he learned from wrestling this week. So, and watch the show. Mm-hmm. Yes, and, and get them onto the Wrestling Mayhem show. Any of our, our many flavors of Wrestling and Mayhem show. Have them buy one of your shirts, too. They're yeah, awesome. yeah. Be like, you know, I do these shirts. So, uh, ProWrestlingTees.com. Rob, 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 our uh, cameraman Rob from IWC says uh, Chris Jericho can do anything he wants. It's basically, <laughs> it's basically, you know, because we're, we're like, how can Jericho just come and do this thing? It was like, yeah, he's Chris Jericho. He, he kind of has, like, he can do it. You know what I mean? Like, the name of a web show. I'm Chris Jericho. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So um, we'll see. We'll we'll have to find out how his time went um, on his next podcast because I'm sure he'll talk about it, right? So uh, oh, he talk about it. What's that? He might talk about he it. He might talk about it. It's just like yeah, every time you know Cole Cabana is on. Actually, last time Cole Cabana was in IWC. Was for the 15th anniversary show. He had a very dis- depressing discussion about how he stole in front of 300 people <laughs> in Pittsburgh <laughs> after all these We're years. Cool. When he was there 15 years ago, when this when this thing started, you know, and it was just like, oh, that's not great. So thanks, Colt. <laughs> um, thanks, Colt. I learned. Um, Sorry, what did you learn? I learned all good things come from wrestling. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> well, uh, that is. I, I. I'm. I. Well, I'm. I'm we're, having we're all good things come from wrestling. So I'm having. We I'm, just spent the first segment talking about something that hasn't. That wasn't that good. I just had had a moment because um um just an appreciation moment of uh of of being around things as uh as as things were getting set up on Saturday. And, uh, you know, kind of solidified with the, uh, hey, oh, hey, kids, it's Chris Jericho um, uh, situation that happened. So uh, it's just really cool to have the opportunity to, to, to meet the people I have and uh, kind of being, being around something like that. Uh, so it's been pretty you know, cool. Chris yeah, you know. We appreciate you know. meeting you too, Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> so I also learned... You guys need to make sure you don't miss an IWC show next time. <laughs> so, <laughs> you never know, guys. You never know. All right, I mean, guys. Next ne- next show is reloaded. That yeah. is true. That is true. Weather permitting. Guys, no, you guys got to get out there cuz <laughs> the rumblings, the things, the 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 things that Virgil's might be there, happening. Like, oh. Jock Sampson's coming back as and his new tag team, the Mega Plowers. Have you seen I this? See. Yes, I have. You got, guys, the the mega plowers. We've been interacting with them on Twitter a good bit because <laughs> we had questions for them. 
<laughs> we need to get him back on the Indie Mayhem show. That's what needs to happen. Um, one of the best introductory vignettes I think I've ever seen in indie wrestling um, is pretty, pretty fantastic. Also, getting getting texts from Jock Sampson at like 3 in the morning is enlightening. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, guys, thank you so much. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to all the many shows. Um, a lot of them on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. And, of course, the YouTube and Facebook channels for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you so much to the live chat. We had a few different faces in there um asking questions and of course i clicked away from it so i don't know if anybody else is out there asking things or if maybe they put what they learned i don't know i'm vamping as i get back to the conversation hello uh booker t is running for mayor uh uh, was kevin owens versus the child a wwe gimmick oh this is uh, this is some other things uh brandon learned that uh we will see a trade happen because zane's storyline even if it's not him uh so there you go uh but no, thank you so much, everybody, joining us. You can check us out the live stream currently. We're doing on the Facebook Live, and uh, you can get to whatever we're doing at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. The camera's over here. Hello, still not used to you. Um, <laughs> I'm, there's not even a camera here. I'm just looking at the edge of the computer. Like it's not this. This is where I'm used to looking. Is right here. This little smudge over here where there used to be a camera. Um, but anyways. Um, what was that? What was the last thing I plugged? Good times at wrestling mayhem show dot com or the phone number four one two two zero six W M S zero for Bobby F J Town. Ladies, he's single and can probably kick my ass. Swipe right on Bobby F J Town. Oh yeah, and the Riz. I'm also single, sir. Yeah. Swipe right on him. Don't don't. Riz don't. doesn't want a girl to kick it. Cause no, I don't. <laughs> I don't go. really either. But yeah, yeah, you or do you? Yeah, or yeah, do you? you. Do. Thank you so much. Like I'm it. at Sorgatron yeah, on the Twitter. And I'm not single. Uh, don't no, just go. It's for, yeah, no. The, just Missy's over there. The wife of the show's over there. Doing the hey, production Missy. all hey, night. Missy. Producer Missy. I still have Ring of Water just playing in the corner. So we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.